welcome to CBS Sports coverage of NCAA basketball. Today's game is between the Washington Huskies and the Arizona State Sun Devils. Here are two players who will need to help carry the load for their teams today. And of course, our starting lineup. There are two really talented power forwards that will be matched up tonight, Gus. We'll get into it at both ends of the floor. It's going to be a great battle for us to witness. And of course, how the teams will set the tempo. Well, I think if they can focus on some of these keys here, they'll be in position to win. Huskies control the tip out of the game. The Sun Devils executing in the half court with their Princeton offense. Over the years, it's so tough to play this Princeton out of the back cuts. They extend the offense. It's so patient. It's a system that a lot of teams have a very tough time playing against. On the outside. The shot clock down to 10. On the left side. With the big shot. Squared up on the catch. Got his puppies in order. Rejected. Out on the left wing. Shots up. He can't get it to go. Get out and fill. Once more, his last shot from downtown. Gussie got the puppy set. Oh, what a dagger. may have them right where they want him, Raph. Want to thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Gus Johnson, and joining me, the man with all of the insight, the governor, Bill Rafter. Tump it inside. In the lane. No. Pulls down the rebound. Turnover by the freshman. The Sun Devils in a hurry. On the outside. Down the lane. Finger roll. So easy. Top of the key. There's a careless pass that's stolen away. Looking for a good shot. In the lane. Off the mark. Big time presentation at the rim. He made himself bigger by extending his arms. Cross court. Look at that block. Terrific reaction. In the post. Up and in. Ha ha! This guy is a complete player in the post. Because he's got a pretty good all-around game. He can step out at 15, knock it down, and can score with his back to the hook. Way out on the right wing. Fired. The senior. Out on the way. He shoots from the corner. And no! Pulls it down. Jump shot. The freshman. Now 
they work it around the perimeter. In the lane. Nice look. Bam. On the right side. Fires. Shots off. Grabs the rebound. Pushes it. Lobs it inside. Cup it inside. Looking for the bomb. And hits. He can put up points and he can move the ball. Because he can really put up points and find his teammates. A well around the player is a good feel for the game. On the right side. Put a little English on it. On the wing. Call for the foul. Obviously too aggressive here defensively. You really got to know your limitations, Gus. And how about some of his averages? Numbers can tell you a lot of different things. But to see the most important stuff about a player, you have to watch him play. Free throw is good. Gets two at the charity strike. Can't get the bounce. They work it around the perimeter. Change of possession. And of course, the conference standings. This is when you really want to excel. Conference play is what it's all about, cuz. Inbound from the baseline. Anticipation defensively. He missed it. Batted around. And he comes up with it. He can't get it to go. No. What a coach will be happy with that effort. And there's a bad pass. in the paint. How about that elevation? Around eight minutes remaining. Receives the pass in the paint. Inside. Can finish. Takes away the pass. On the right side. And he's fouled. Obviously too aggressive here defensively. You've really got to know your limitations, Gus. With the pair. Gets it. Rip. 
Rims off. Get out and fill. Steals the pass. Dump it inside. We are at the seven minute mark. Off the mark. On the left side. Shots off. Transition. Takes the pass in the paint. Shots off. He owns the window. Turnover. They'll go the other way. Jump shot. And he can't get the bounce. We are at the six-minute mark. On the left side. And he lays it up and in. Down on the low block. In the lane. He missed it. Grabs the board. On the left side. A chance for two. Great attack. It's that one. He got them both. They may have him in some trouble here, Matt. What a great trap, Gus. The defense is getting after it. Out on the right wing. He looks for three. And another missed field goal. They're settling for jumpers. They got to find a way to score. Get to the rim. Get to the free throw line. Look at the coach. He's beside himself. Now they work it around the perimeter. With 10 to shoot on the shot clock. They work it around the perimeter. Fires. He can't get it to go. Look for the outlet. On the right side. Ah, he got it up and in. He thread the needle. Really did a great job at carrying the D with the back cut. Great feed and a great ability to finish in traffic. Out on the left wing. Four minutes left on the game clock. Careless mistake there. Down the lane. Finger roll. So easy. Both teams looking to get in a, a bit of a rhythm here. Way out on the right wing. Jump shot. Big time dagger. In the post. Fired. No. What a rebound. I own it. 
We're at the three-minute mark. On the wing. Jump shot. Shots off. Rips down the board. On the right side. He strokes it. The sophomore. He intercepts it. Two minutes left on the game clock. Off the mark. Out on the wing. The junior. Looking for a good shot. And he's fouled. Too aggressive on defense here. He winds up with the foul. You always get your hand reaching in, you get in trouble. And a look at some of the numbers he's been putting up this year. He's been working hard this year, but that doesn't always show up in the stat sheet. But it can have an effect on the totals and the win power. Makes the shot. Both free throws go. The trap's in place, Rap. On the right side. And he can't get the bounce. Dump it inside. Fires around a minute remaining. Shots off. Jump shot. He missed it. What a rebound. In the post. Fires. Perfect. And he's fouled. Once again, a case of being too aggressive defensively. There's nothing wrong with being aggressive, but you just gotta know when to back off. With the freebie. He makes it. Gets two at the charity strike. Cross court. In the lane. to the low block with the big shot he can't get it to go the first half is in the books the road to the final four is up next and let's take a moment to look at some team stats for both sides here 
Let's check in and take a look at how both sides are doing with the keys to the game. Gus, it looks like they're going with the minimum. And this hometown crowd is showing their appreciation. Look at them, up on their feet. One more. Rising. Oh! You can blink and he could have 20 on you. This young man can put the biscuit in the basket. He's what you call a pure scorer. He can really score the hoop in bunches, Gus. He takes the three. With no luck. Way to get up, big fella. They work the perimeter. And lays it in. A great finish on that backdoor feed. Oh, what an explosive cut to the tin and just a terrific feed. What a finish, Gus. Looking for a good shot. Up and in. Ha <laughs> ha! He shoots from the corner. Not this time. In the lane. With the answer. On the outside. Jump shot. No. Look to outlet. On the right side. In the lane. How about that, Gus? Looking for a good shot. Put a little English on it. The Huskies are playing their style and controlling the tempo. You know, Gus, it's all about going out there and executing. They've done a great job of taking care of Temple. Out on the way. Call for the foul. And they're going to count it. What determination. Once again, a case of being too aggressive defensively. There's nothing wrong with being aggressive, but you just got to know when to back off. All right, here's a look at his per-game numbers. Big numbers are good, but the great players and coaches know only give you so much information. It's important to look at everything a player does on both ends of the court. If you want to understand how valuable he is to this team. He's being trapped. Inside. On the outside. Shots up. And in. Picks off the lazy pass. They work the perimeter. Fired. Shots off. It's mine. On the way. He shoots from the corner. Got it. Wow. The Sun Devils got some good ball reversals. Coach has to be happy with the offensive execution. Some great swing passes, ball reversal, getting them the open looks. Exactly what they want right now, Gus. And we're going the other way. Rap, it's been a great team effort for these guys. Everyone has been getting involved, Gus. Unselfish play, getting timely defensive stops, and really good execution at the offensive end. Can 
finish. Intercepted. Jump shot. What do you think, coach? You and I both know they need a timeout here, Gus. On the outside. And the ball is out of bounds. We'll go back the other way. They'll start from the baseline. And he lays it up and in. Off the mark. C. Reacting. How alert, Gus. Defense taking away any open looks. Ah, he got it up and in. The Sun Devils did a great job of going through the high post on that play. They got the ball to the big guy at the high post, and the D just couldn't react in time, Gus. That's often the case when the ball goes into that area of the court. On the left side. He shoots from the corner. The basket goes! And one! Great play! Too aggressive on defense here, and he winds up with the foul. You always get your hand reaching in, you get in trouble. Here we have a look at one of the sophomores for this team. He's still young, but the coach has him out there for a reason. He tends to make the right decisions out there, which means more playing time for him. A simple concept that applies to everyone, regardless of age or experience. Out on the left wing. Jump shot. And he can't get the bounce. Call for the foul. Obviously too aggressive here defensively. You really got to know your limitations, Gus. To the line. From the free throw line. He got them both. Pushes it. Ball handler may be in a bit of trouble, Raph. And he's fouled. Lines up with the foul. You always get your hand reaching in and get in trouble. Everyone on the squad is solid from the free throw line. Their team free throw percentage is pretty good. You know it's always tough to play a team that can knock it down with consistency. Coming down the stretch. Both free throws go. Out on the right wing. Dials up a long range shot. He missed it. I own it. On the wing. Fires. He can't get it to go. Pulls down the board. Entry pass in the paint. No, he gets it back. Shots off. Give me that. Eight minutes left on the game clock. They work the perimeter. And while we have a moment, let's take another look at our star matchup. 
At this point, the important question is if their team is winning. If so, nobody's worried about the stats. Looking for a good shot. Jump shot. The soft move. on the way. And it's going to be out of bounds. No! Great save! They work it around the perimeter. He puts up the tray. And misses. Call for the foul. Obviously too aggressive here defensively. You really got to know your limitations, Gus. Here's another solid junior build. Gus, you look at your juniors as third-year players who have been there. And as a coach, you can rely on them for their experience and ability to guide the less experienced players on the team. Gets two at the charity strike. The Huskies seem like they want to take the defensive pressure to the next level. Watch for some full-court pressure, Gus. I'm curious to see how the pressure will be handled. Shots off. Oh, physicality. On the right side. Down the lane. Finger roll. So easy. Fifteen foul. Too aggressive on defense here. He winds up with the foul. You always get your hand reaching in to get the trouble. Your first year playing college basketball has to be exciting. Well, Gus, it's certainly a big change, but it doesn't mean he needs to feel out of place. It's going to be up to him how hard he wants to work and how good he wants to get. Seem like they want to take the defensive pressure to the next level. Watch for some full court pressure, Gus. I'm curious to see how the pressure will be handled. On the right side. Now with 10 to shoot. With the big shot. Oh my, I wonder why he shot that. The Huskies are really controlling the tempo. Doing a nice job of controlling the speed of the game, Gus. They're really dialed in here, and the coach has got to enjoy it. The Huskies are really doing a good job running their offense. Uh, they've been running their beautiful motion offense to perfection. Precise cuts, time with pass, great reads, and it's resulted in some terrific hoops. Trap. They managed to keep the defender under control. What a great job of containing the ball handler there, Gus. Now they work it around the perimeter. He shoots from the corner. And that's money from three. In the lane. Shots off. And he looks to outlet. Out on the left wing. And lays it in. How about that play? They went through the high post. Whenever you're attacking a zone or man D, it's key to get the ball in the center of the floor, and in particular, to the high post. Try to pack it. Rejected. We're at the five-minute mark. Picked out of the air. Down in the low block. In the lane. Drains it. On the left side. 
He drains the bucket. The Huskies have controlled the tempo here. Gotta love the way they've come out here and really focused on their game plan. They've done a good job making sure the game is being played at their pace. Foul on the play. Obviously too aggressive here defensively. You really gotta know your limitations, Gus. This is a snapshot of what he's been bringing to the table each night. Great players find different ways to contribute every game because they know the only stat that really matters is wins. Makes the foul shot. Raph, they've got him right where they want him. Tries to get around the trap, but he can't do it. That's a pretty good trap there, Gus. They came together, shut down the passing lanes, and had him locked up. On the outside. He swats it away. We're at the four-minute mark. They've worked the perimeter. Bad decision there by the freshman. Now on the run. On the right side. Heat check time from long range. He makes the three. How about that play? They went through the high post. Whenever you're attacking a zone or man D, it's key to get the ball in the center of the floor, and in particular, to the high post. Call for the foul. Too aggressive on defense here, and he winds up with the foul. Now you always get your hand reaching in, you get in trouble. A couple of free ones. Chance to breathe. It's good! No doubt about it. On the left side. Now we've got a turtle. Now they'll push it the other way. And it's knocked away. Great block. And we have a change in possession here. We're at the three-minute mark. In the paint. Buries it. It's no good. Out on the right wing. The shot won't fall. On the outside. We are at the two-minute mark. Off the mark. Silly mistake there, Bill. They work it around the perimeter. Jump shot. Can't get it to go. Looking for a good shot. Up and in. Ha <laughs> ha! My goodness! 
goodness, this one is shaping up to be a great. At this point in the game, it's about managing the clock and getting the most out of your offensive possession. A few stops and a few scores for the ceiling. Ready to get things going again after the timeout. Way out on the right wing. Now they really have to foul in order to stop the clock, Gus. Tough team to foul because they shoot such a good percentage from the line. When everyone on the floor can convert from the line, it makes this team very tough, especially down the stretch when the opposition is trying to foul. Makes the shot.
And after the timeout, we're all set to pick things up. On the right side. Let's it go! It won't fall! Some people dread this part of the game, Gus, but the losing team is fouling the order to stop the clock. Coach, when a team shoots this well from the line, an aggressive defense can come back to haunt you. When a team shoots a high percentage from the line, it makes them that much harder to defend. Six. May have him right where they want him, Raph. Top of the key. Takes the medium-range jump shot. No. The Huskies are in a bit of a streak here, Bill. That's two games in a row. It's obvious to me that their confidence is soaring. When you have a confident bunch, the level of play really elevates. That's a good win for them, Gus. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes CBS Sports coverage of NCAA basketball. I'm Gus Johnson saying so long.